Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening. My name is Ye Hongbin from Zhejiang University. Today, I am going to talk something about few shot learning, and the in the title of my presentation is Ontology Enhanced Prompt Tuning for Few Shot Learning. Okay, let's move to the outline. My talk includes introduction, related work, approach, experiments, and final conclusions. Here I explain our motivation. Recent years have witnessed the success of deep neural networks. However, open issues remain as they are still prone to labeled data and practice and face unignorable challenges owing to the variations of domains, language, and tasks. These drawbacks lead to the research of an important technique, few shot learning, FSL, which can significantly improve the learning capabilities of machine intelligence and practical adaptive applications by accessing only a small number of labeled examples. As shown in the figure, on three different tasks, the sparser the sample distribution, the weaker the model extraction performance. Few shot learning, FSL, is aimed to make predictions based on a limited number of samples. Structured data such as knowledge graphs and ontology libraries has been leveraged to benefit the few shot setting in various tasks. In this study, we explore knowledge injection for FSL with pre trained language models and propose ontology enhanced prompt tuning, onto prompt. To address the low resource issue, on the one hand, researchers apply the meta learning strategy to endow the new model, the ability to optimize rapidly with the existing training knowledge, or leverage transfer learning to alleviate the challenge of data hungry, benefiting from the self supervised pre training on the large corpus. The pre trained, fine tuned paradigm has become the de facto standard for natural language processing. It can perform well on downstream tasks with a small amount of task specific data. On the other hand, structured data such as knowledge systems and ontology libraries can be modeled under the few shot setting. Note that those prior knowledge are mostly abstract summaries of human experience and can provide vital support for few shot learning in various domains. Here is an example. With large scale pre training, language model may contain some kind of knowledge. Given the instance, Mark Elliott Zuckerberg, Ask Facebook. The model can easily infer that the most likely word is Crete in the Ask position. However, Facebook was renamed Metaverse a few months ago. Without such knowledge, it is difficult to predict the relation between Zuckerberg and the Metaverse. With the help of external ontology which provides descriptions and types about Zuckerberg and Metaverse, the model may infer such a relation. In this study, we mainly focus on three tasks. Here, I will introduce some background. The first is link prediction for knowledge graph completion. Previous researchers have proposed various link prediction methods, which encode entities and relations into the low dimensional continuous space, such as trans E, trans R, trans D, trans H, distmult, complex, rotat E, KG BERT, and so on. Relation extraction aims to identify the relation between ended peers based on a given contextual text. In order to reduce the cost of labeling, Previous studies utilize distance supervision based on the knowledge graph to generate labeled examples automatically. More recent few shot relation extraction approaches leverage prototype network, multi level matching and aggregation, relational twin network, and meta learning. Event extraction aims to identify event triggers with arguments from text, which is generally formulated as a classification or structured prediction problem. To address the few shot issue for even extraction, some researchers utilize external knowledge from FrameNet and propose a global inference approach to improve the event detection performance. More recently, some researchers reformulate the event extraction task as machine reading comprehension, which can achieve better performance in few shot setting than vanilla fine tuning. As shown in the figure, with the help of external ontology knowledge, it is beneficial for three tasks in low resource setting. Intuitively, lots of previous studies have been proposed to leverage external knowledge. In this study, we follow the related work based on prompt tuning. For example, given a sentence S. Turing entered King's College, Cambridge in 1931, and then went to Princeton University to study for a doctorate. We can pack them into a knowledgeable prompt based on ontology. Turing, Mask King's College, Cambridge, pre-trained language models should predict label tokens at the mask position to determine the label of the input. However, injecting ontology knowledge is not an easy job. 
and it also brings some challenges to our work. There are several non-trivial challenges as follows. Knowledge missing. It may be challenging to retrieve task-relevant knowledge due to the incompleteness of the external knowledge base and thus provides no useful or even irrelevant information to downstream tasks. How to enrich task-relevant knowledge for tasks is an important issue. Knowledge noise. Previous studies have demonstrated that not all knowledge is beneficial for downstream tasks, and an indiscriminate injection of knowledge may lead to negative knowledge infusion, which is detrimental to the performance of downstream tasks. Thus, context-sensitive and task-specific knowledge selection is critical for knowledge-enhanced learning. Knowledge heterogeneity. The language corpus of downstream tasks is quite different from the injected knowledge leading to two individual vector representations. How to design a special joint training objective to fuse knowledge information is another challenge. In this study, to address the above-mentioned issues, we explore knowledge injection for few-shot learning with pre-trained language models and propose ontology-enhanced prompt tuning. Note that pre-trained language models can extract plenty of statistical information from large amounts of data, and external knowledge, such as knowledge graphs, is the outcome of human wisdom, which can be good prior to the modeling of statistics. Firstly, we propose ontology transformation to enrich and convert structure knowledge to text format. Specifically, we utilize predefined templates to convert knowledge to text as prompts. Prompt tuning can reduce the gap between the pre-training model tasks and downstream tasks. Second, we propose span-sensitive knowledge injection to select informative knowledge and mitigate injecting noise. Third, we propose a collective training algorithm to jointly optimize representations. Note that the injected external knowledge should be associated with the surrounding context. We add some learnable tokens and optimize those tokens as well as injected ontology tokens. First, I will introduce some background of prompt tuning. Let x be a sentence, where xi is the token in the input sentence, and is the number of tokens. We follow previous prompt tuning studies and use a task-specific pattern string t to coax the model into producing a textual output corresponding to a given class y. Specifically, x containing one mask token is directly tasked with the masked language modeling input. When the prompt is fed into the masked language modeling, the model can obtain the probability distribution about mask given the candidate class. In this paper, the ontology representation is denoted as O. C is a set of concepts. E is the connected edge between the ontologies, and D is the textual description of each ontology. The concept set here refers to domain-specific concepts. For example, we leverage the type ontology related to the mentioned entity in relation extraction and event extraction. We utilize the domain which is the head entity types and range which is the tail entity types constraints and knowledge graph completion. Regarding the differences in downstream tasks, we leverage different sources of ontology. For each task for ontology transformation, we first extract the ontology of each instance from external knowledge graphs and then transform those ontologies into raw text as auxiliary prompts. The final input sequence of the model is unified into the following form. When applying to knowledge graph completion, we use the corresponding items obtained from the external Wikidata query as the source of ontology and extract the textual description. Following K.G. Burt, we regard knowledge graph completion as a triple classification task and concatenate entities and relations as an input sequence. We use unified template as the default input sequence. We also use the learnable virtual token to enhance the prompt representation. In inference, we rank the output scores according to the maximum probability of sentences predicted by the language model and count the hits of gold standard entities to evaluate the performance of the approach. When applying to relation extraction, we utilize the MUC which defines the concept of named entities. Note that named entities can provide important type information, which is beneficial for relation extraction. We utilize those definitions as textual descriptions and ontology schema. When applying to event extraction, we first leverage the ACE event schema as our base event ontology. The ACE2005 corpus includes the rich event annotations currently available for 33 types. However, in real-world scenarios, there may be thousands of types of events. In order to facilitate inference in scenarios with limited training samples, we integrate the 33 ACE event types and argument roles with 1,161 frames from frame in it and construct a bigger event ontology for event extraction. We manually map the selected frames to event ontology. Since excessive knowledge injection may introduce some noise into the original text, in order to solve this problem, inspired by Kbert, we propose span-sensitive knowledge injection. 
Given input text X with L tokens, we use a visibility matrix to limit the impact of the knowledge injection on the input text. In the language model architecture, the attention mask matrix with self-attention weight is added before the softmax layer. Therefore, we modify the attention mask matrix. This figure illustrates the span-sensitive knowledge injection. Ontology 1 describes the ontology of the mentioned token, starting at position 1, which can be viewed as auxiliary prompt, and template refers to the original template for the prompt. Finally, I will introduce how to optimize the prompt. Note that those injected tokens from ontology transformation should be associated with the input sequence. Thus, we introduce collective training to optimize ontology tokens and input sequence. We reinitialize the ontology tokens with real word embeddings and optimize those ontology tokens with the language model. For link prediction, we use several standard knowledge graph completion datasets, including UMLS which has various categories, W and 1.8 are based on WordNet, and FB15K237, based on Freebase. From the table, we report the performance of multiple knowledge graph completion approaches in the few shot setting. Eight samples per relation means eight shot. The experimental results show that our model can achieve better performance. Although Ontoprompt has a slight improvement in the few shot setting on UMLS, it has an increase of 6.6% with the hits at 10 on FB15K237, compared to KG Burt. We think the improvement of FB15K237 is mainly due to Ontoprompt's ability to fully utilize the implicit fact knowledge obtained from external ontology. For relation extraction, we choose a variety of datasets to evaluate our model, including sentence level extraction datasets such as Tackard Revisit, Semival 2010 Task 8, Wiki 80, and Dialog Level Extraction Dataset Dialogger. We compare our approach with vanilla fine tuning approach and the most well performed baseline model GiveNet on four datasets. As shown in the table, it can be found that our model under the few shot setting can achieve better performance than the vanilla fine tuning method in all relation extraction datasets. In a fully supervised setting, our model can also obtain a slight improvement compared with GitNet. For event extraction, we evaluate our model with the ACE 2005 dataset. From the table, we report the F1 score results of event extraction in extremely low resource scenarios. Notably, our approach can yield advantages in few shot event extraction. To further analyze the collective training of virtual tokens, we conduct the nearest neighbor word embedding search for the virtual token in the sentence to project the best optimized virtual token into a readable natural language. From the table, we can observe the following findings. 1. Our model can customize a unique virtual token for each ontology in different event subtypes, while the virtual tokens of the model without ontology knowledge are random tokens scattered in the entire dataset. This indicates that injecting external knowledge can benefit prompt template representation. Two, the integration of ontology knowledge can improve the base pre-trained model to varying degrees, which further prove that the ontology knowledge is helpful to the downstream tasks such as event extraction. 3. The removal of virtual template tokens reduces the performance. We believe that the virtual token can learn the implicit information of the task-specific knowledge and adjust the appropriate prompt according to the context. Finally, we conclude our paper. We focus on ontology knowledge injection and propose an ontology enhanced prompt tuning approach, which can be applied to three tasks. Experimental results illustrate that our model can obtain better results than baselines in eight datasets. The method in this paper verifies the effectiveness of ontology knowledge as prompt guidance. In the future, we plan to combine the proposed method with semi supervised learning algorithms to make better use of large amounts of unlabeled data. We will also try to inject the more complex knowledge such as symbolic rules in the knowledge graph into the proposed model to construct more powerful prompt templates. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much. Uh, we have here uh, Yahum, the first author of the paper, and um, I would like if there are audiences who want to ask him a question. Yeah, Hong, are you hearing us? Do you hear us? Hey, hello, um, I'm the second author. I can, I can answer the questions, yeah.
Ah, okay. So I didn't receive questions on the chat. So I actually have a question myself. Um, I wanted to ask, how were you able to uh, control the impact of the injection on the input text? So um, I know that the count metrics could, um, you could train it and you could learn on, on it, but do you think that this uh, count metrics could be um, different based on the ontologies that you are applying or trying to uh, inject in the in the text? Yeah, uh, this is a very good question. I think uh, those ontology tests and uh, the contact test may be, may be different. Uh, but uh, in this paper, we all regard them as, as, uh, as, 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 as text, all as text. And uh, we use those tests and we use a, a, a visual matrix to uh, control the knowledge injection. And uh, uh, the, yeah, that's right. 